Yo, what's up, people? This is ScottX1307. Got a uh, contest entry for the great Gimpy204. Uh, he's been over 300 subs for a little bit, and he's put on a, uh, a great contest for everybody to enter that's uh, sub to him. And uh, he asked for, uh, for two things. Uh, well, first, let me say uh, congratulations, Gimpy. Uh, you definitely deserve more than 300 subs. Your videos videos are always hilarious. Um, I always get a trip out of watching your videos. Uh, sit here and uh, you know laugh my ass off. Uh, great guy. Uh, got a lot of great books, and uh, I love when you show off the Mego figures. Um, those things are, uh, especially the originals. Those are hard to get, and you got a nice collection of them. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, he asked for two things uh, in the contest. Um, one is to show off uh, roofie covers. And uh, this is covers, you know, where people are passed out on the, on the, uh, the cover and uh, either being carried or dragged or something like that. And I just happen to have this really neat poster here uh, from, oh, back in like 2000. Uh, the image title Red Star. Uh, this is a, a roofie poster. Apparently, uh, this chick has roofied this guy and she's toting him off um, to do uh, who knows what. So uh, I figured I would use that as a background. It's kind of tall though. So let me pan down just a little bit. And uh, actually, I was surprised at uh, the number of um, covers that I was able to find in my collection I really thought uh, I would only have a few um, but I found uh, I found several um, so let's uh, let's take a look at some of these uh, first I got this Fantastic Four 249 uh, apparently Gladiator has uh, roofied the entire Fantastic Four team um, see Human Torch and Invisible Woman there he's carrying Reed and he's got uh, thing up over his shoulders and a big grin on his face so he's pretty happy about that and that's kind of creepy but they also have uh, this Daredevil 164 uh, apparently somebody has roofied his dad um, yeah that's not good so you know Daredevil's kind of upset about that and who can blame him uh, also got this uh, Creatures on the Loose, number 22. Um, I guess uh, apparently some of these uh, creatures or something has roofied this woman and uh, Thongor is uh, trying to protect her. Or uh, maybe he roofied her and they're trying to stop him. It's hard to tell. But she's been roofied. She's just kind of laying there unconscious. Uh, got Avengers 195. Um, somebody's roofied uh, the Wasp, and you see Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. They're trying to to stop this guy uh, from, uh, you know, having his way with it. I guess. <laughs> uh, and uh, you see, it's not just you know like books from the 70s and 80s. Or it's uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four 22. There's Magneto. He's roofied uh, all the uh, the Ultimate FF. There's the Thing, Invisible Woman, Human Torch in the background, and he's holding Reed up. I don't know what his plans are. <laughs> um, here's a great one. Uncanny X-Men 145. You would expect this of Doctor Doom. He's roofied the entire uh, X-Men team, and he's got Storm there. And there's probably the glass or the goblet that he must have roofied them with. So, uh, yeah, beware. Never never take drinks from Dr. Doom. Uh, another X-Men cover. Uh, it's not just uh, people that, uh, you know, like to roofie folks. Uh, looks like, uh, I think it says Nimrod. Apparently he's roofied the Juggernaut. Uh, must have been a pretty powerful roofie to, uh, to, to knock out the Juggernaut. All right, next uh, I got a classic cover here. X-Men 136, Cyclops is extremely upset. Somebody's roofied uh, Jean. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's his woman, so I, he's pretty upset about that, you see. Uh, and the rest of the X-Men, they seem kind of, uh, kind of 
devastated as well. Um, and if that cover looks familiar, it's very similar to this. If somebody has uh, roofied Supergirl and Superman is not happy about that at all. Uh, this Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7, classic cover. All right, Gibby, this is for you. Uh, you mentioned this in a comment, so I'm going to bring this one back out. Captain Action number three. Um, somebody's apparently a uh, roofied uh, action boy. Uh, must be Dr. Evil. Um, so that's Gil Kane art. It's a great cover, but uh, yeah, it's really sad. He's kept Dr. Evil. He, he must be really evil. He's roofing little boys there. <laughs> Uh, see, and, uh, yeah, got a Batman, uh, Detective Comics 427, uh, apparently these puppets, uh, have roofied the Batman, and, uh, that can't be good, uh, they got one over on Batman, that's hard to do. Uh, here's another one, uh, Justice League, uh, number 106, at least from volume one, uh, this red tornado, he says, the day I joined the JLA, I roofied them all. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, he knocked the entire team out. Mm. And like I said, it's not just, uh, not just older comics. Here's a veil number two uh, from Dark Horse. Uh, apparently she's roofied this cop uh, for some reason. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh... Maybe he caught her in the alleyway doing something she shouldn't have. But, uh, yeah, she's roofing him. And he's knocked out good. And this one's kind of disturbing. Um, again, uh, it's not just uh, people passing the roofies around. This is uh, Caliban number one, a terror cover. And this weird uh, octopus alien thing has roofied this woman. Uh, must be... Thulu or, or something akin to, to that creature. Uh, the, he's apparently taking her away to some dark places. Um, not good. Beware uh, in space because aliens like roofies also. Mm. Um, Canadians are even getting in on it. Captain Canuck, number 14. Uh, I guess uh, maybe some of these people chasing him have roofied this guy. Um, I don't know if Captain Canuck roofied him, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the guy is knocked out. He's definitely been roofied. So, see, it's aliens, robots, mutants, humans, Canadians. Man, they're all roofing people. Uh, here is, uh, Baltimore Chapel of Bones number two. Uh, this angel demon thing has roofied this guy um, apparently they're all trying to to get a hold of him but I think the one with the wings has won and is about to fly off with him and he's just kinda there's nothing he can do he's knocked out uh, again another one with aliens alien worlds number nine uh, she's not quite roofied yet so maybe this one doesn't count but this weird insect alien creature is trying his best to roof here. This guy's trying to save her. So, uh, I mean, hopefully he will because uh, nobody wants to be roofied by a, a giant alien insect with uh, uh, claws and weird mandibles and tentacle things. Just not good. Uh, even, uh, even the animals are getting in on it. We have an albedo, number eight. You see, she's trying to stop. Somebody has roofied this character here. Looks like a, another fox character. And, uh, yeah, she's like, no, no. But it's too late. He's already been roofied. All right, and the last two I got here. Now, these are probably the worst roofies of all because, I mean, what can you really do? Death of Wolverine, number four. If de When death roofies you. That's pretty much it. I mean, uh, how, how do you fight that? That's got to be the most powerful roofie 
uh, in the universe, the Rufi of Death. Uh, and last book here is classic. Again, Death really likes to roofie people. She's done roofie Captain Marvel, the rest of the Marvel universe. They 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 attempt to save him, but you just there's no coming back from that roofie of Death. Don't know what what else to say about that, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's my uh, collection of. Uh, Roofy covers, uh, and again, like everyone says, uh, we're not condoning roofies. We're just pointing out that sometimes it happens in the comic book world. Characters get desperate. Sometimes that's the only way to to take somebody out. <laughs> All right, another thing you asked um, is for uh, runs that you've completed or are close to completing. Things you're working on. And I've got my uh, my book out here. I found this neat notebook at um, Office Depot. It's just a little grid book. It's already got squares and everything made out. It's a lot easier than uh, my other tome where I was drawing all the lines myself. Uh, this makes it a little quicker. You just got to fill in the numbers. But, uh, I'm working on I'm working on a lot of stuff. Uh, I guess a lot of us are. Uh, one of my main things is Uncanny X-Men uh, 1 to 400. Uh, realistically, I'm looking at completing 100 to 400 because the the Silver Age X-Men are just really hard to find and uh, fairly expensive when you do, uh, unless they're in low grade. And I have a few that I found there, and you know, like uh, Good and VG. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've got a lot to... Uh, a lot of X-Men uh, completed. I've got some holes in here, books I've picked up in the past couple months I need to fill in, but I've got a, got a good little ways to go. Um, I'm also working on a number of things. I did complete a little mini-series, Contest of Champions, thanks to Tom Ryan. He found issue three for me, uh, and that was very cool. I uh, appreciate that. Um, uh, so uh, I used to like Cloak and Dagger, and uh, I've completed the mini series and working on the regular series now. Um, not too hard to find; those books are fairly cheap. Um, working on uh, uh, a lot of the Marvel, um, uh, their tryout books: Marvel Presents, Marvel Premiere, Marvel Spotlight. Um, some of those are kind of expensive. Is there a lot of first appearances, a lot of key issues in those runs. I'm also working, a big thing I'm working on this year besides X-Men and uh, the New Teen Titans run with uh, George Perez and Marv Wolfman runs into Tales of Teen Titans. I'm um, getting close to completing the New Teen Titans. The first few issues are kind of expensive, uh, but these later issues should be no problem to, to find. Tales of Teen Titans should be easy to complete. But uh, one thing I've, I've been finding a lot of and trying to trying to hit hard are um, the 70's uh, Jack Kirby books. Uh, Devil Dinosaur from Marvel. We got the first couple of issues of that. And uh, I'm working on Commandy New Gods, uh, Mr. Miracle, I found a lot of Mr. Miracle uh, over the past few months at the flea market uh, for fairly cheap. It's got uh, number one is going to be a difficult one to get um, because of the price. Uh, same thing with Forever People, the issue number one is going to be real hard to get. And I already have New Gods number one and a few other issues, so uh, that one's coming along. It's only 19. Uh, and these uh, these short runs should be uh, fairly easy to complete. Um, Sandman and Demon, I need to work on those. Don't don't find a lot of those for some reason, but uh, I am working on it. I'm also working on the Blackest Night storyline from DC. I've been finding these in the quarter books, and um, only got to about four issues. Actually, I found uh, another one of these a while back. So I've got about three issues of the main little mini series, eight issue mini series, and uh, I pick up the uh, the tie-ins when I find them. 
uh, for a quarter. Um, I'm really big on the indie books and there are a number of things I'm trying to complete. Um, I, uh, Dawn is uh, one of my big characters. I uh, really like uh, Lindsner's art and love her story so um, I'm trying to complete uh, everything Dawn that I can find. Uh, I have completed the Lucifer's Halo. I picked that up when it came out in the 90's. Um, Return of the Goddess as well. I'm almost done with uh, the three tiers. I just need the final issue of it. Um, I found two issues at the con the other weekend and that, uh, that helped a lot. I also have these one shots and things like that um, that I've picked most of those up. Uh, Concrete is another character I am really liking. Uh, luckily I've completed the first 10 issue uh, series and I am working on uh, the little mini series and one shots. Um, those are pretty uh, pretty easy to find and they're not expensive so I uh, plan on you know being able to finish most of the concrete run uh, sometime this year. Johnny Quest from Comico. I, uh, I like two issues in that 31 issue uh, series that they did and the uh, special and that that's so three issues to completing that and uh, I'll be done with that and I, I can't wait those are awesome books if you're a fan of Johnny Quest uh, cartoon the original uh, from like 68 um, this series is really good it's just like that that cartoon um, Scout uh, Timothy Truman that's another one that uh, I found a lot at the flea market it's only a 24 issue run and I uh, should be able to complete that this year no problem uh, I've completed uh, uh, Captain Victory from PC Comics that's another Kirby uh, that one is done I'm working on Silver Star now which is for some reason it's a little harder to find than Captain Victory and um, Nexus the um, the first comic series um, I found a lot of those at the flea market and I've got a good uh, a good bit of those but I still I've got about half of them so I'm about 50% done with that uh, I actually have the first two issues of the capital um, series um, that actually uh, not the black and white magazine size but the regular comic size uh, thanks to Tom Ryan and there's a lot of mini series uh, from uh, Dark Horse I'm working on those as well those are coming along pretty nicely not too expensive or anything and let's see Yeah, that's about it. I don't have any long, long runs completed. Um, as I, I do most of my comic pickups at the flea market, so it just happens to be whatever I can find. Because um, they're just, you know, boxes and boxes of quarter books. Um, I would rather, you know, wait a few months and pick them up there when they show up than go to comic book stores and pay uh, cover price or over cover price on a lot of books. But, uh, that's the main things. Uncanny X-Men, New Teen Titans, uh, Concrete, Nexus, and the, uh, the Kirby, the 70's Kirby books from uh, DC uh, and Marvel. And then the PC, the Pacific Comics, uh, Captain Victory, Silver Star. Those books are very cool. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to complete a lot of those uh, this year. They're not too expensive except for the DC books because of uh, Dark Side. So, uh, yeah, congratulations again, Gimpy. Um, man, you should be uh, at least double double the subs that you're at now. Um, been on here for a while. Hilarious videos. And, uh, yeah, every time I see a new uh, video from you come up, uh, I can't, uh, can't wait to watch it. So thanks for uh, doing a contest, and uh, it was a really neat idea. I uh, hope nobody gets offended at the, uh, at the roofie covers. It's just a joke. So, uh, 
yeah thanks again and uh, everybody if you haven't uh, watched Gimpy 204 um, just have an open mind and go check out his videos guaranteed to get a laugh uh, God he's just like I said he's hilarious um, sometimes he is a little intoxicated because he likes the vodka but there's nothing wrong with that when you work hard you need to come home and unwind so uh, I'll leave a link below to his channel go check him out if you haven't and uh, thanks again everybody take care later